Converting from rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates is relatively straightforward. Whether or not it's a good idea, or whether or not you can simplify the result, those are different questions. But fundamentally, it's very simple to replace x with r times the cosine of theta and to replace y with r times the sine of theta. Going the other direction is significantly less trivial. We do have some equalities we can use is to try to convert from polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates. But it's more an art than a science. Two of them we've already seen. The relationship between x and the cosine and the relationship between y and the sine. We also have r squared equals x squared plus y squared. And the tangent of theta is x divided by y. But none of these give us the same thug and play method we had when converting from rectangular to polar. For example, say we have r equals three times the cosine of theta. Maybe we have the following idea. Because of this equality, we'll replace r with the square root of x squared plus y squared. And because of this equality, we'll replace theta with the arctangent of x over y. Well, unfortunately, both of those ideas are wrong. R can be positive or negative. This square root, by contrast, is always positive. This equality is true, but this equality is not. Likewise, this equality is true, but this only tells us that theta equals the arctangent if we know that theta is between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. So this is not a valid way of approaching this problem. How we do approach this problem, there is no golden rule, but let's think it through. If instead of having an r, we had an r squared, we could replace the left-hand side of this equality with something involving x's and y's. 
if instead of a cosine, we had r times the cosine, we could replace this right-hand side with something involving x. So on both the left-hand side and the right-hand side, it would be nice if we had an additional r. Well, if we have an equality, we can multiply both sides of it by r to go from this equality to this equality. And now r times the cosine of theta is x. r squared is x squared plus y squared. x squared plus y squared equals a three x. And we have successfully gone from polar to rectangular coordinates.